<laughs> Oof. Okay, so uh, we'll see where we go with this. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see how we even begin this. Hmm. So this is my man. This is my dude right here. Fucking Devin Lorette. The the best arm wrestler in the world, professional arm wrestler. And if 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 you if you haven't really got into uh professional arm wrestling it's it is fucking awesome dude like you'll get hooked and especially whenever you look into the people that's involved with it like there's such amazing people uh especially if you're in like any kind of strength activity it's uh it's fucking awesome and uh the energy exchanges that happens whenever you're like, uh, you know, interlocked with someone in arm wrestling. Uh, there's a lot of energy exchange that happens. Uh, you you very quickly realize, you know, if someone's in it, you know, just just the mentality uh, comes forth immediately. Like if someone's trying to go for the win, if someone's trying to you know do it for. Just a learning process and uh, gaining as much as they can, as much wisdom and awareness. So I mean, that's that's immediately where I gravitated towards is like uh, letting people get to their strength and uh, gaining strength there. But that's just just how I've always been. Okay, so yeah, this guy is in fucking uh, Canada. This is a Canadian. This is oh my gosh. So, so shout out to uh, all the Canadians, all the people up in in the cold and in the north. Shout out to Genevieve. <laughs> One of my most favorite Canadians. <laughs> Uh, words don't do justice to, uh, the, the connectivity that I have with you. On the daily, I feel you. And your little one. I just had a nice meditation, actually, with, uh, with your little one. Um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail, but essentially I was, uh, Encouraging her to engage in deeper levels of meditation. It's not necessarily an encouragement. It's just the uh, the experience is that we share space and we hold space for one another to uh, to access space and awareness within ourselves <sighs> shout out to fucking zigzag shout out to uh, the genie Shout out to Cortese and Zinni B. Shout out to everyone. Danny, of course. I'm, I'm always in communion with you. Shout out to Juniper and Skyhopper. To all of you. So, uh... To start off with this... <laughs> again, at 420, whatever. Uh... Alright, so, for whatever reason, I, uh, had, had to nap, I guess. My body was just like, hey, hey, let's, let's fucking have a nap. It's gonna be, <laughs> it feels right, so let's do it. So I did it, and, uh, it ended up being quite a long nap, and, uh, quite an interesting dream. Very intriguing dream. 
Ooh, okay, so let's get into the stream. Um, first off, let's, uh, my, my last few dreams have tied in directly with, uh, the My Engine Abaddon and his uploads, uh, directly. So, uh, in part of this dream, uh, there was a fire element involved. Uh, with some kind of a stove or oven or something and uh, an ignition uh, say like a gas lighting so at the beginning of uh, my and Jen's latest or at least the one that I just watched uh, there, was, there was a gas lighting involved so right after I woke up from this dream I watched that and I'm like <laughs> again dude again that's, that's fucking two in a row, bro. Very interesting. No coincidences, people. Uh, I realize the synchronicities, the, the connectivity, the connections. Uh, we're all connected, and this is, this is a big part of why we're going through this, uh, this fucking sh show parade is to remind us of the connectivity, the continuity. So uh, this is this is a point here in time where you have an option to choose how you want to engage. If you want to engage in the outside, which is you 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 know you're going to be told one thing. Or do you want to engage in the inside and realize for yourself what's going on? But, like, beyond all that, fuck all that. Just having time to yourself. Having time with your loved ones. Having time with whatever it may be. Having more time to engage in the real. Having more time to slow down. To get real, to get right, to get good. Right? So, okay, before I start this, I'll also say that in this dream that I had, I, uh, it, within the dream, and this is kind of, uh, something I've experienced several times within dreams, is I've been dreaming within dreams. So within the stream, I was uh, having a uh, sleep paralysis thing happening within the dream. So I was coming out of that, and I've uh, come out of that in, you know, waking life, or whatever you want to call it, several times. And some of the times, like, especially whenever you're not used to it, whenever you're not, uh, whenever you don't know what's going on, there can be a level of fear involved there can be a level of immense fear like terror involved whenever you you don't have the control you don't know what's going on that's just going to be the body's response to freak out to try to get you to uh you know wake up to get a grip on shit that's also going to be an indoctrinated response is to freak out so uh with cultivation with more experience and awareness we realize that freaking out only worsens the situation and this is uh as within so without here collectively whenever we freak out it just makes shit worse obviously that's what we're seeing so uh with the sleep paralysis uh if you just release and, and calm down and realize that you know tap into the more subtle aspects of it and realize that oh hey i can breathe i'm good boom you'll come out of it every time i guarantee it but with this time i was in the dream i had uh immense uh sleep paralysis and i was coming out of it and and i was having a lot of pressures um coming down on me and uh, I just kind of went with it and I was uh, coming up out of it and 
and uh, the choice was there, and it just kept kind of flip-flopping, like, what do you want to choose, what do you want to choose, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to come out of this, and I'm not going to freak out, so, so be it, Wh whatever happens, happens, and I came up out of it, and then, that was kind of the beginning of my dream, and then uh, I gauged certain things, it was a very bizarre dream, I was in a new location, as in a new apartment, um, it was like I just acquired this apartment, I, uh, I was just like, learning the uh, surroundings of the apartment. There were some uh, mechanical things involved, especially whenever I went into the uh, stove or oven area, there was this uh, mechanism that happened. It was a, like, kind of like a, uh, I don't want to say AI, it was just an automated response of something that I didn't quite understand. And then I kept pressing more buttons on the stove or oven, and then uh, a fire lit. And then I realized that, you know, certain buttons uh, lit gas, certain buttons, uh, you know, cut off the air. So I'm like, oh, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Cut it off. And then I was like, oh shit, the fire alarm's going to go off. But it never did. Otherwise, I probably would have woke up immediately from the dream. And then, um, I kind of push the stove or oven into another room, and it was, uh, filled with glass. And cabinets. Uh, of glass, and certain glassware, and I open up a drawer, and there's different glasses, uh, like, like, eyewear kinds of uh, glasses. I found that very intriguing. Um, in the dream I was like, maybe I should try these on and see if, you know, I, I if, if they're of my suiting, of my fitting, but I never did try them on. I got caught up in another avenue of the dream. So yeah, it's just very interesting, very intriguing, um, very in sync with uh, everything I'm going through. Uh, different, different eyeglasses, different perspectives, different ways to look at things. So yeah, I'll start this. Uh, this is... <laughs> This is my fucking dude here. So, uh, we'll get, we'll get into this. Uh, this is just, this is just a reminder that no matter what the fuck you're going through right now, utilize it for, for the best poss possible way you can. Like, realize that you are giving, you are being given an opportunity and an option to choose how you want to utilize these, uh, times. So it's up, to, it's up to you. It's, it's on you. Rainy day here in Richmond, Ontario. It's day like, I don't know, is it like 14 or 15 or something like that? Of uh, basically being in lockdown. Uh, I got to say that I'm actually really enjoying it. It's like the great pruning. Exactly. Got told that my match with Michael wasn't happening. Honestly, whatever. <laughs> whatever, because at the base of this whole trip for me, it's just about self-improvement. And I'm sure it's... And uh, in case you don't know what the fuck he's talking about, like, uh, he's talking about his match that he was supposed to have uh, to determine the, uh, you know, who the hammer holder is, the fucking hammer, the, the, the Thor hammer, uh, the best arm wrestler hammer. So, basically, instead of whining about that, he's saying that, you know, it is what it is, like, you know, that's not what it's about, necessarily, it's about finding our own place and space 
and where we are choosing to engage and improve upon. Self-growth, self-awareness, self-improvement. That's what he's about. <laughs> it's a fucking beautiful message. Because, I mean, it's, it's a big opportunity that, that he's uh, getting getting kind of robbed from. But like he's not fucking worried about it at all. Because he knows his fucking strength, his fucking awareness, where he's at. He knows that, given more time, he's only going to get stronger. It's only going to get better. So I wanted to share this because this is a reflection here. Like, if how you choose to engage this... It's only going to get better or it's only going to get worse. It's up to you how you choose to engage in this. Like that for mostly everybody who loves strength and everything. Uh, yeah, we arm wrestle, we get together and we test ourselves, get stronger together. It's way easier and more fun. But such a great time right now uh, just to prune, prune things in your life that are maybe quite as we're so good at piling on more and more stuff more and more distractions to take us away from our primary purpose i have been saying this since fucking the very beginning like back to basics we're, we're getting I mean, this is this is a wake-up call to get back to basics and to remember the uh What's, what's really fucking important here. You know, it's going to be different for everyone, but whenever things are taken away from us, you know, we have an option to dwell upon it, to freak out, or to be like, hey, we have other opportunities, opportunities that are opening up. So, like, even before 2020, I, I was like, dude, 2020 refinement this is what it's about 2020 vision so i like comes I'm, I'm just seeing more and more people coming about reflecting what i was projecting and it's beautiful cuz this pruning process is the refinement process it's the same thing take away the things that no longer serve you and for a lot of people they're being taken away and then their reaction is, oh my god, buy toilet paper. Uh, which which I just, I still don't get. I mean, I get that it started and then, and then people were like, oh shit, like maybe we should get toilet paper because it's running out. And now it's fucking out everywhere. Like I get that, but like I don't understand where it began necessarily. And it's just fucking bizarre. And this period, this time period for me, uh, is just awesome. <laughs> no way less distractions. Exactly. Just zeroing in exactly on what it is that I really love to do. Mm. And I know it's a struggle for so many people, so many of the essential workers out there are working hard for, for everybody and put themselves at a uh, higher level of risk. Uh, but for a guy like me, who's non-essential, <laughs> just means I have very little distractions. Exactly. Strength. People sometimes ask the question, are you going to retire? When are you going to retire? I'm never ever going to stop chasing this thing that I'm after. Uh, when this thing is done, I expect there to have been a bit of a divide. I don't know how long it's going to be. Nobody does, obviously. Uh, I'm watching a lot of news, and half the time <laughs> I'm freaking out, and the other yeah. half the time I'm like, what are we so worried about? We should all do. It's really weird, though. I think that's because he's been uh, in so many different lands. You know, he he said he's freaking out, and then he didn't say a boot. Like uh, <laughs> this Canadian uh, accent is, you know, going in and out. 
but uh, yes. Uh, if you watch the news, just don't fucking bother. <laughs> don't fucking watch the news, dude. And that's going to be taken away from you very soon, evidently. But with with this fucking blackout or, or what the fuck ever is going to go on. Yeah, there's the. <sighs> there's many levels of this. There's many layers of this, and like the people that you know want to get caught up in it, they they, it, it's about this. The whole thing's about belief systems and constructs and ideologies. The the idea, the image. So if you have, if you've been caught up in a certain image. To where you think that you are limited, that you have been led to believe that the uh, medical system knows better than you, that, you know, white coats, white, whatever, scientism knows better than you, then you have uh, decided that you are giving your awareness to that, giving your power away. This doesn't have anything to do with uh, being able to research properly. This has everything to do with cutting that shit out and going within properly. Once you do that, you start to recognize the things that you really need are, are presented to you. You attract them to you to realize that It's all an inside job. It's not. It's not outside. There's not shit outside going on. Uh, and as far as a virus or whatever, and and if you want to stay caught up in that mentality, well, look into Wim Hof. Look into the things that he has done. The things that he has taught people to do for themselves. Where they are injected with a uh, neurotoxin. And they can just breathe that shit out. I, I don't really have any tolerance anymore. Or any uh, capacity to engage people that are really very much caught up in the ideology that they don't know and that they need to look onto other people, other scientists that know. Because if you're, if you're in that system, then you are going to be lost until you get out of that mindset. It's a mentality. This is a mentality virus, people. This is a fear virus and a mental virus. If you're worried about people that are sick, that could be getting it, and then dying, well, why are they fucking sick to begin with? The mentality is sick. It's weak. If you have a weak mentality, you're going to have a weak reality. Reflected back on the body, and that's not to be super harsh or say that, you know, uh... That you're a bitch necessarily, but you've given in. And you know this deep down. You know that you've given in to certain kinds of mentalities. And once you're able to pop out of that and stop listening to stupid bullshit, start listening to the fucking spirit within you, you're going to get straight, you're going to get right, you're going to get good, you're going to get God. Don't take my word for shit. Do it for yourself. Stop listening to people. Start engaging with nature. Go barefoot. On the soil. Get your souls on the soil. People. Start spending time in nature. Alone. Don't, don't be around people. Don't be on your phones. Spend time alone in nature. And... 
you'll you'll start to recollect and reconnect. Just do it. F fuck everything else. Just fucking do it. I don't care if you got fucking other shit going on or other responsibilities. Just do it. Go out in nature. Spend time in nature. Fucking do it. Realize where the true healing begins. Tap into those roots. Just go back to where we were living. Um, best thing to do is just follow the smarter person who has more information. But there's going to be a divide when... Ah, the smarter person. But but who is the smarter person truly, though? Is it is it information that you're seeking, or is it engagement? Awareness within this engagement of truth that you are seeking. So yes, learn from people, but also learn to... Learn to fucking discern. God damn it. And the divine is the divide has been happening for a while you now. It's right now reaching its fucking peak. Actually, I think the divide has already reached its peak. To be honest, uh, but it was when uh, our last election happened uh, in the states. That was the peak of the divide. It may have peaked a little bit more afterwards, actually. But uh, that's that's when I, I witnessed the ultimate crazy. Uh, I didn't think people were gonna get that crazy about it, but that just you know. This whole fucking process is to expunge the fucking weak and crazy and diseased the corruption. This is an expulsion of the corruption. So uh, whenever you think that you are seeing celebrities say certain things or, or codings or whatever, um, I guarantee you that they are not doing the things that you maybe think they are doing. I guarantee you that they are being utilized as a message source. I, I fucking guarantee you that they have been used from day one. That the uh, true corruption and the people Utilizing these things, these chemicals, these uh, pedophilia rings, these child trafficking things, uh, they're trying to stay in the shadows. But uh, the, the, the things that the people, the celebs that they are utilizing for communication are kind of also outing them uh, un unknowingly. Uh, that's what's going on with that. There, there's a deeper level of shit going on, and then just the surface stuff that you're seeing. We do come out of hibernation. There's going to be ha. the people who kept on investing, who kept on working, exactly, who used the time, uh, utilized their efforts, exactly, and then there's gonna be the people who maybe are caught up in it fell apart a bit yes lost their mission became unfocused maybe I don't know maybe it's good for all of us it is but uh, anyways I wish everybody the best in what I'm sure is struggling times for for most of us uh, yeah. rejoice in the simplicity of it rest more Focus on the things that you love to do. Unclutter the mess that your life surely is. Because ah. when this is done, oh my god. The plant that gets pruned so well when it receives that fresh light is going to explode. There's been several videos that this guy's done. This is why, like... Also, a huge reason why I've loved to get into professional arm wrestling is that uh, the mentality that these guys have, like, it goes well beyond arm wrestling. It goes into so many levels of, of 
mentality and reality of a focus uh, of refinement oh my god it's fucking beautiful and this guy is a fucking ambassador to me this guy is like the fucking ambassador of Canada like truly like I, I don't see any other Canadian that that comes close to this guy <laughs> and I mean, it may just be a fucking male thing uh, you know a strength thing but uh, it's also a mentality thing uh, I wouldn't have been so attracted towards professional arm wrestling if it wasn't for the mentality involved and that goes with everything with UFC with, with everything that I uh, look look for I look towards the mentality and uh, what draws me there the growth that I can gain and entertain and maintain and share So, uh, if nothing else, if anyone sees this video and they get drawn in towards Devon Lorette or professional arm wrestling, then I have done my fucking job. Because, uh, it, it, it truly is an amazing fucking uh, sport and engagement. Even just to engage arm wrestling and to continue to do it, to continue to realize the, uh, uh, the energy exchanges that happens whenever you start to arm wrestle like different people whenever you uh the mentality it's just every time you engage someone in any kind of sport especially with ufc or fighting it's a mentality like you know these fighters will say i'm fighting myself that's truly what's happening it's a mentality and whenever you're sh able to share your mentality with another you know you're able to share their mentality as well and grow from that. So this is a beautiful time that we're in right now. Where we can grow exponentially. The growth that can happen. That is happening. That will happen. Is going to be exponential. Yes. <sighs> shit is going to be. To get fucking crazy. It's going to get. Event upon event upon stupid shit. But. It's all for a fucking reason. And it's going to come to a very specific point. I'm not going to say it right now. I will probably later in videos. I'll, I'll probably read from certain books. That's going to describe exactly what's going to happen. But uh. It's to bring us back towards truth. Towards awareness. Towards uh. The things that are truly important. The things that we have been led to believe are real and then you know, realizing that that's bullshit. So re-engaging, reigniting our inner ovens, uh, igniting the fucking gas, reigniting our systems. So that we, we spark a fire that, that is an inter eternal, internal and eternal flame. We, uh, hmm. We learn to tap into the blue flame and the uh, purple flame. Yeah, sorry, there was just uh, so many different things going on there. Uh oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna share this card that I drew. Oh shit. Or, or maybe I won't. Because it's gone. It is gone. 
Interesting. Huh. I wonder if it's on top here. Nope. Hmm. That is very intriguing. That card I pulled has vanished. Where has it? Yep. <laughs> And how whoa, how perfect of a card, you know? We we have a fucking man that has his uh has a shirt on but his bottom exposed. You can see his pubes even. And then we have a circle of children. Wow. Of all the cards that I could draw. Of all the fucking cards that I could draw, this is the one that comes up. Right? Pure coincidence, right? Fuck. Ten of Pentacles. Legacy. Among blooming tulips and verdant grasses, a sage sits in meditation. Children and dogs frolic on the playground before him. The symbols of each suit appear as everyday objects. A pipe, a cup, a knife, flowers. Across the river, a couple enjoys the view in the dock behind their home. In their Ten of Pentacles, we experience the satisfaction of having all our needs met, having attained a lasting level of security. We have good reason to relax and to celebrate the abundance of life with friends and family. At the same time, this card speaks to the importance of creating something worth passing on to the future generations. Whatever your age, start thinking about the legacy you will leave. What impact will your life have on the world? On an even deeper level, Ten of Pentacles offers a gateway into the essence of its suit, that the everyday world contains magic and mystery that we are often too busy to acknowledge. Honoring this magic is perhaps the most profound and valuable legacy we can leave behind. And I mean, that's every time. You know, whenever I draw a card at the end, it's, it's just fucking perfect. It's not so much about focusing on legacy as much as living it. Like, uh, the legacy happens whenever we, uh, <laughs> you know, live it out. Whenever we really truly tap into uh, the calling of what we're being drawn towards and getting the fuck out of our own way and just living it, experiencing it, not giving a fuck about what anyone says about it, what anyone has to say about it, living 
our fucking life. Our allowing the life to live. <laughs> right? Yeah, that was fucking awesome, dude. I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And boom. <sighs> Thank you for uh, tuning in and tuning up. Peace out.